Greetings, I'm Solid Scully, and welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts 2 action, where the fight for Hollow Bastion CONTINUES! And, uh, yeah. We're gonna be exploring all of that, but first it's time for a cutscene. The plot thickens. Okay, fellas, you've gotta go find Riku and Kairi! But Leon and the others are friends, too! Don't worry, there's already lots of help here. We'll take care of this fight! But... I promised Leon... Donald, Goofy, take Sora and get going! Riku, Kairi, give me a little time, okay? Your Majesty! We understand. We'll go search for Riku and Kairi. Right. Watch for danger. Do me that one too! Wait, you guys! Sora, do as you're told. You're coming with us whether you want to or not. Come on, Sora. You gotta be good. Gotcha. Well then, skedaddle. Let's go. Whoa! I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Oh. Hope you can forgive us. And now to talk over this, because, uh, yeah, as you can tell how awkwardly placed this is in the story at this point in time, yeah, these are some Final Mix exclusive scenes. And, uh, unlike Kingdom Hearts 1, where they were pretty much nebulous and you didn't really need to worry about them too much, here it's just, uh, the superior of the organization walking. And walking. And walking. And walking. So, uh, yeah, if I can make a critique about the Final Mix exclusive scenes here compared to Kingdom Hearts 1, these ones are... nebulous. In fact, I mean, if nothing else, to Japanese players, since I don't think, uh... West actually, no, Western audiences wouldn't have gotten them until the HD releases in 2012-2013. So, yeah, basically all this is is a glorified advertisement for Play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, which is already on the collection, so it kinda makes these scenes a little bit pointless. I mean, especially since the lines you're hearing here between, uh, you know, The Apprentice and, you know, Ansem, they pretty much play in a cutscene later on anyway, so it doesn't really make any bloody difference. Although, yeah, it is kind of interesting that this entire place existed beneath Holy Bastion and nobody was able to access it. But again, what you're going to be seeing here is basically, well, a secret of Zemnesis and a certain plot thread that doesn't really have much of a bearing on anything? Uh, I don't know. I'll get into Birth by Sleep's territory a little bit later, but this doesn't really do anything. It 
It has been far too long. Friend. Hmm, Keyblade armor. But who could it belong to? And why is it here? Well, we're not gonna find out until birth by sleep, so, uh, yeah, enjoy the angry ranting for then. Oh, and, uh, by the way, you're gonna be seeing Zexian and, uh, Vexen here, but don't worry, they're not alive, this is pretty much before they died. So, uh, enjoy the flavor text. Because it means nothing. Zexian! Zexian! Right here. What is it? Where is Lord Zemnis? His usual spot? The Chamber of Repose? Yes. Go and see for yourself. That isn't funny! I suppose I have no choice but to wait. But the clock is ticking. Time is running out. What to do? Why is he never around when I need him? It's almost as if he knows I'm looking for him. You know, I don't like that place either. What about you, Zexion? What do you think? I think eavesdropping is intrusive. Why are you even here? You and Zaldin were tasked to recruit new members. Have you forgotten, or were you procrastinating? As if. I'm doing my job. I'll have you know, I found one just yesterday. Mar something. That puts the organization's count at 11. And since I've been working so hard, I had Lexius take my place for the day. I want to rest up for tomorrow, so I can wake up feeling nice and refreshed. Is that so? Well then, I will leave you to it. I have work to catch up on. Good day. Oh, don't be like that. Come on, stay and talk. Isn't it time you told me about Zemnis's secret? How long ago was it? When a bunch of warriors wielding key-shaped swords appeared and unleashed a spectacular battle. And when it was all over, all that was left was a man lying unconscious without his memories. Zemnis, yeah. I mean, Xehanort was found by Ansem right around then, wasn't he? Your point? The Chamber of Repose. If you recall, that's where we spent our time researching the darkness that resides within people's hearts. It's a graveyard that was sealed by order of Ansem the Wise. The first thing Xemnas did once he got rid of him was to undo the seal and build a room in the back. Ever since then, he holds himself up in that room when he can, and he talks to someone. But who? For all I know, he's the only one in that room. Need I repeat myself about eavesdropping? Not eavesdropping. Couldn't hear what they were saying. Dying to find out what it was, though. You wouldn't know anything about it, would you? I know I would very much like to focus on my own duties. As you should with yours, for we need to prepare the new facility immediately. But there are only eleven of us in the organization. We're going to need a few more hands on deck. What new facility? Oh, you mean Castle Oblivion. What does Xemnas plan on doing with that place, anyway? He already shared his intentions with us. But did you know there's something he didn't share? The Chamber of Repose is part of a pair. The Chamber of Waking is the other. Another graveyard, if you want to call it that. It was constructed by someone other than Xemnas himself. And that's where he'll find it. That's where he'll find his other friend. Oh, Zexion, dude, you gotta buy Birth by Sleep and all the Kingdom Hearts merchandise, man! I'm Zigbar, dude! Yeah. <sighs> hey.
Hey, you guys are looking lively. Scrum! Didn't we catch you messing around in the underworld? How'd a wimp like you get into Organization 13? <laughs> I bet you can't even fight. Yeah, but we can. You shouldn't judge anyone by appearance. Oh, I told them they were sending the wrong guy. Who is this kook? Remember, the organization's made up of nobodies. Right. No hearts. Oh, we do too have hearts. Don't be mad. You can't trick us! Silence, traitor. Showtime. So, this is Zex- uh, Damn it, I got the fucking nobody name wrong. Thank Nominee. But yeah, this is Demix. By the way, I failed this portion because, uh, if for whatever bizarre reason, if you don't destroy all of his water forms, uh, you just die for some reason. Uh, but anyway, Demix is a bit of a puzzle because, again, he seems to be intimidating, and as we'll learn a little bit later regarding the nobodies, Demix seems to possess knowledge that he otherwise shouldn't. And again, as later games in the series would reveal, he does have some ties to the ancient Keyblade legacy, so who knows what this little boy has in store for him. But, uh, yeah, to kind of go back to my original point about his water forms, uh, the only reason I literally lose here is because, well, I tried to attack his forms, and, well, because it was not busy spinning, I die. Or rather, Sora just gives up going, Nah, mate, I'm afraid you lose. Nah, mate, you didn't do all the water form shit. I don't know, I guess maybe the water, like, goes into Sora and he drowns? <laughs> Whatever. But, I mean, anyway, uh, one of the primary reasons why Demix isn't really much of a fighter is because, well... Yeah, he's mainly used for reconnaissance and, well, scouting missions for the organization. So, yeah, he's a bit of a lazy ass, but he doesn't really enjoy fighting. But he can be very imposing when he wants to be, which is admittedly almost never. But yeah, unlike in the Colosseum, he does have a few more attacks than this. I mean, destroy all his water forms, and, well, he will layeth the smack down with his water torture and, well, waterboarding. But again, there are a few moves that Demix has at his disposal. He has a few reaction commands, uh, one of which I wanted to show off, but sadly couldn't, since I, well, I missed the timing for it, but it's called Show Steel, where basically Sora gets his keyblade, plays a bit of guitar with, uh, you know, Demix and the sitar, and, uh, well, he basically whacks him with his own musical instrument. This fight is a much bigger pain in the ass when you're doing the data battle, and uh, especially on some of the harder difficulties, like uh, Proud and... Uh, oh shit, I forgot... Uh, it was Proud and... Uh, fuck it, I forgot what the thing was. Thank Nominee. But uh, yeah, he basically likes to keep his distance from you. Kind of fitting since he's a coward, so... Uh, yeah, he's pretty much always on the defensive. And again, try as you might, you can't attack Demix when he's doing his little... Uh, a water clone jutsu thing. So basically, you gotta take out all the copies, and uh, the time frame gets less and less each and every time you do it. But again, when you can land some hits on him, he really ain't shit. So, yeah. I really wish I could have gotten the show stealer uh, reaction command to work, because again, it is actually really fun and cool to pull off, but sadly, it was not meant to be. I mean, it is part of the reason why I did try and prolong the fight a little bit, just so I could get it, but. Well. If I'd had to come to an end, so... I have no idea why I paused there. Maybe I was distracted in real life. <sighs> Farewell, Demix. You are my favorite member of- Actually, no, second favorite member of the organization. Anyone from the organization who'd like to be next? Hey, Sora. Go get Dragonize him. Yeah, we gotta go help our friends out first. Oh, sorry. Then let's go! Aha! There you are!
you sure have lots of friends to help. So, I guess we better all pull together and finish this battle for good. Yes, yes Your, Your Majesty! Majesty. Come on, wake up! I'm sorry about the ice cream. Goofy? Uh, I'm goofy. This is not happening. It can't be happening. It can't. And then Mickey got pissed. They'll pay for this. Ah! Uh -huh. 